welcome back. We are in Ocean Shores. Welcome to Ocean Shores. The famous sign. Honestly, I don't think we've ever come here in the middle of summer. It's always in the off season. So we'll definitely have to come back in the summer. That looks like a rental RV. They're lost. Yep, Cruise America. So Ocean Shores is all spread out, which is one reason I like um, Westport, Washington, because you could walk, you could park in one spot and walk everywhere. I don't really have a downtown here. Like basically the center of town is coming up here and they have a grocery store, gas station, hotels, little strip malls. It's nothing like Westport though. This Ace Hardware. I wonder if this is new. Oh my god, their greenhouse is bright. Jeez. See how that looks on the camera. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's been there. I guess I just have never noticed it. Pretty big spread out town though. It's a lot of houses here. So we won't see it all today. But um, we'll definitely drive around some more when we come back. Bring our bikes. There's their library. So glad the sun is getting higher in the sky. So I probably won't, um, I'm not gonna do too much walking around at first today. I wanna make sure I get my driving done. I was thinking about going to the North Jetty and walking around, but we'll just do a drive-by. It's 142 right now. I'd like to be headed home by 6 p.m. It's in three hours and 15 minutes. So hopefully that might give me time to walk around one park at least. take um I think it's Ocean Shores Boulevard when we go back north show you some more of the beach houses I just hope this um Hope the sun is not too bright. I'd like to use this um, driving south video, but if it's horrible, unwatchable, I will delete it. I didn't even think 
at that. I just had my visor down and there's a sticker on the back of it. So hopefully that wasn't um, glaring on the window. It's way over on my side. I don't know if the camera picks that corner up. I am using the um, non-wide setting now. So I'm taking away the fisheye look. I think I had that on Washington Park Arboretum video, everything we did that day, the Golden Gardens, and I think it looked good, I was very happy with it. So there's actually a decent amount of inland canals and ocean shores with houses around them. It's pretty neat. Reminds me of Florida. If I had my platform tent on the truck, I probably would spend the night tonight. And then I could have, you know, pretty much see a lot of stuff between today and, you know, the next day. That's why I can't wait to get it. canals up here right past this truck there it is not to speed on this road. It was 30 miles an hour, now it's 35. like we drove down the middle of the island. Normally we do take the farther west road, but since I wanted to film this, this will give you a loop tour. Ah, there's a new house going up. Looks like they're gonna have a nice shop slash garage. Another house going up. Jeez, three, here's another one. Looks like uh, Motion Shores is booming. They definitely still have some land available. Oh, here's a marina and RV park on the left. Looks like a fun place. It's um, right on the water. Wow, look at all the cars here. Jeez, it's Wednesday. Nobody works anymore. Wow, I cannot believe how many people are here. That is crazy. It's going to be a crazy, crazy travel year.
Oh, look at all their flowers on the right. We're now we're getting into the um, kind of the more beach type houses. market and shops oh wow they have a whole bunch of them it's like a little strip mall there's probably half a dozen businesses back there some deer there's a lot of deer in ocean shores like and you drive around in the evening they're everywhere I bet um, they eat a lot of gardens and flowers that they're not supposed to it's down to 52 being this close to the water We're going to drive through um, some of these neighborhoods going to the North Jetty and we'll take the main road going north. I want to show you some of the areas. so peaceful how the houses are built into the bushes basically nice thing is like these aren't huge houses back in here they're probably still fairly expensive but you know most at least they're not like multi-million dollar ones
Ocean Shores Boulevard, Southwest. how people have lots and they just have it set up for their RV and sometimes they have power and like a septic field they built and sometimes it's just uh, you know just a lot where they can park and spend as much time on their land as they want until they can build a house Looks like their um, wastewater treatment is on the left. So the jetty is on our left. It's really fun to walk out there and there's the um, tall grasses and stuff. These houses would be pretty neat. Like you could see the waterway up on their um, first and second floors. Some lots for sale right there. I can't believe it. No one's ever bought them. Wow, that's an old house right there. It's like that cedar shingle siding. This place must be a zoo on the weekend and it's spring it's not even summer yet so this is the um, north jetty parking lot this is where um, when we come back bring our bikes we'll walk around go out on the jetty huh that rv's there we could actually bring our rv and park on the right down here like he did it's not flat but all right we are driving north So I, um, I tightened the um, GoPro suction mount a couple days ago in the truck because it was always a little loose and I figured out actually what I did wrong. So it, it doesn't bounce around as much now. It's like the smart car, it's really tight. So on the left, Right past the row of houses is the Pacific Ocean. It is kind of amazing though that, yeah, this isn't built up more. Like there is a lot of land left. It's just a, such a short season, you know, compared to the Gulf of Mexico or Atlantic Ocean or SoCal that you don't see the same level of development, you know, that you do on those ocean coast. Even the houses aren't as big and grand, I don't think. Oh, I 
also wonder though if the chant the super that uh, Cascadia earthquake they talk about that could cause a 9.0 and send a massive tidal wave I wonder if that's part of the reason also it's not as developed I mean that would pretty much wipe out this whole area if that ever happened Hopefully it doesn't happen in our lifetime. Just a scare tactic, that's all it is. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy to think if that affects insurance and building, yet in the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic Ocean, you have hurricanes. That doesn't affect anything. You know, people still live there and don't worry about the chance of destruction. And that happens a lot more than this 9.0 earthquake could ever happen, <laughs> which supposedly is only like once every thousand years. It's kind of weird when you think about it. Something that happens almost never is more widely feared here than hurricanes which happen every year on the East Coast and people aren't scared of them. All I know is they um, our friends that live in Westport, they massively increase their in housing insurance because of it. Hopefully it's not more than it is in, you know, hurricane zones. That wouldn't be fair. I know it's a lot though. Some people can't afford it, I don't think. But, I mean, the fact it happens Almost never. It's just another way for insurance companies to get rich. Two biggest scammers in this in the world are insurance and jewelry. It's like we don't buy jewelry. They basically mark it up. You know, if it's worth ten grand, they sell it for twenty. Then if you sell it, try and sell it back to them, oh no, they won't give you twenty. <laughs> Yeah, the jewelry business is the, one of the worst businesses in the world, in my opinion. Between the, the uh, slave child labor they use and the mines. Alright, enough harping on, on insurance and jewelry. <laughs> But I will say, if you are young and want to be rich, get in the insurance business. Whatever you can do, get into it. Expecting a lot of cars on the beach since there's so many people here on a Wednesday. I will get out on the beach for a few minutes. I brought, um, only brought my hoodie, so hopefully it's not too cold in the wind. It's always windy. Car still says it's oh it's 51 now. It's probably the upper 40s on the beach. We'll give it a shot though. It's a pretty 
much the nicest houses are in the southern part of this peninsula. And there's fewer trees for some reason. I don't know if that's natural or, or man-made. drive into auto once we get out on the beach. All smiles and waves are free. How sad. Looks like we're getting close. I'll go inside that casino, use their restroom, and check out their little cafe place, get a snack. I could get a coffee too, actually. Well, thanks for watching the tour of Ocean Shores. I'm going to end this video and we will start the next one going out to the beach. See you in a bit.